plan to reorganize and possibly cut the number of Milwaukee County Board Supervisors moving forward. New at 6, WISN 12 News' Hillary Mentz tells us why supervisors want the power to make their own decisions before the state intervenes. Friday morning, supervisors on the Intergovernmental Relations Committee all agreed decisions about county reform need to remain in the county. Seven ayes, zero noes. The motion is approved. But how to make the board more efficient and effective is up for debate. Supervisors Steve Taylor and Mark Borkowski are pushing a resolution that the state gives them power to cut the size of the board from 18 to 13 by 2016. I don't think there's one member of the county board that doesn't believe reform should happen. Absolutely. Now, what form that reform takes place is what needs to be decided. And so this is just another option for us. Another option, making board members part-time without benefits. Some supervisors argue downsizing may hurt representation of minorities. The issues brought passion from the community, like this listening session in Wauwatosa Thursday night. I really think that the people here want to have a voice in what their government looks like. Borkowski says County Executive Chris Abeli has been giving mixed messages about the board's future. Abeli says he supports the proposed measure in Madison to call a referendum on whether to cap supervisor salaries and cut county board spending. Within that structure, what the board looks like uh, and their ability to change uh, that, you know, I don't think that necessarily conflicts with the bill. And, you know, I, I'm happy to see that they're in the same spirit of uh, serious, uh, you know, self-examination and reassessment. Abeli says he'd be on board with downsizing as long as every district is adequately represented. At the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. The board needs the state's approval to redistrict and downsize because state law says you can only redistrict once every 10 years. The measure goes to the full county board next week.